What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another cryptocurrency news article. This one comes out of Cointelegraph, and Putin calls for blockchain-based international payment systems. That's right, the Russian president criticized Western sanctions and urged for a system independent of external interference. And <laughs> what's better than blockchain technology? It gets rid of the middleman. We don't need third parties anymore, which are now called third countries <laughs> since what happened with Russia and Ukraine. But Russian President Vladimir Putin criticized monopoly in global financial payment systems and called for an independent and blockchain-based settlement network on November 24th. Speaking at the International AI Journey Conference in Moscow, during the event organized by Spurbank, the largest Russian bank and a major lender to the government, he stated, The technology of digital currencies and blockchains can be used to create a new system of international settlements that will be much more convenient and absolutely safe for its users and, most importantly, will not be dependent on banks or interference by third countries. Now, I am confident that something like this will certainly be created and will develop because nobody likes the dictatorship of monopolists, which is harming all parties, including the monopolists themselves. <laughs> but Putin also noted that the global payments and nations are at risk due to tense relations between Russia and the West following Ukraine's invasion, labeling sanctions imposed by the countries as illegitimate restrictions. The existing system of international payments is expensive. The system of its correspondent accounts and regulations are controlled by a narrow club of states and financial groups, noted the Russian president. A day before the local media reported that lawmakers have been in discussions for amendments to the existing cryptocurrency legislation, laying down a legal framework for a national exchange. Another recent development is a bill that was introduced into the Russian state Duma, the lower house of parliament on November 17th, legalizing cryptocurrency mining and the sale of the cryptocurrency mined. As reported, chairman of Duma Financial Markets Committee Anatoly Askogovov believes that the passage of the law will bring this activity into the legal field and make it possible to form a law enforcement practice on issues related to the issuance and circulation of digital currencies. Currently, though, at the moment, cryptocurrencies cannot be used for settlements in Russia, but mm, maybe sometime soon it will. Because again, man, we saw what happened. Like, like the U.S. basically dictated sanctions all around, and there's a lot of countries out there already using cryptocurrencies because like it evades the sanctions that was put on them. Like they were going like one big country is like going, oh no, you can't do this. And so eventually they banned so many. It's like, hey, the other small guys that got banned was like, it's like, let's just use our own system then. And blockchain technology basically gave that to them. So again, we do have cryptocurrencies and soon CBDCs coming out there. Which one do you want to use? Definitely not the CBDC because those aren't going to be blockchain, just more government regulated. But the cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Litecoin, I wouldn't say Ethereum because that's not supposed to be a currency. That one's to be used for building platforms. But Bitcoin and like Litecoin can definitely be used for transactions in the future. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this to see an international payment system for everyone to be using. And then we'll see what comes from that. Energy being used with cryptocurrencies, <laughs> trades and whatnot. So yeah. So what do you think about this? How soon do you think this will come into play? Let me know in the comments down below. But if you like this article, hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.